Hey everyone, it's August 16th, and that means that if today's your birthday, you share with the international serial killer Johann Unterweger, known as the Vienna Woods Killer, and that is him right up there, and I'd like to apologize for my terrible German pronunciation. Unterweger was born in 1951 to an American soldier and Viennese prostitute, and was raised by his abusive alcoholic grandfather in a one-room cabin. He spent much of his time as a child surrounded by pimps and prostitutes, and grew to have a hair-trigger temper, being arrested for the first time at age 16. He spent much of the next nine years in and out of prison, being convicted 16 times for sexually assaulting prostitutes. In 1974, he killed for the first time, beating a prostitute with an iron bar and choking her to death with her own bra. Unterweger was convicted of murder and sentenced to life in prison, and while behind bars, became a prolific writer, penning stories, poems, plays, a novel, and an autobiography that was critically acclaimed and successful amongst the public. After 16 years behind bars for murder, he was believed to have been rehabilitated and was released in 1990. He told the press at the time, That life is over now. Let's get on with the new. Unterweger became a popular talk show guest in Europe and was hailed as a model of prison rehabilitation. Unfortunately for everyone, that life was definitely not over, as was evidenced when an Austrian magazine hired him to write about crime in Los Angeles and sent him to the United States in 1991. As someone from Los Angeles, allow me to say that we make enough serial killers all on our own. We don't need to import them from overseas. You can keep your serial killers there at home. We have enough of them already. He brought his new 18-year-old blonde girlfriend with him and sat in a police car many times for ride-alongs, sending back articles to Austria about Hollywood prostitutes while staying at the famed Cecil Hotel. While here in LA, prostitutes began turning up dead, with one victim found in Boyle Heights on June 20th, then another 10 days later. On July 10th, a woman was found dead in Malibu Canyon, and all three had been beaten before being strangled with their own bras. Unterweger returned to Austria, and by the time anyone connected the dots between his M.O. and the victims, it was February of 1992 when an Austrian SWAT team raided his home to find that he had left with his young girlfriend on a trip across Europe and then back to the U.S. He would periodically call the Austrian media to taunt the police on their inability to catch up to him, but he was finally found in Miami where the pair went because they enjoyed watching Miami Vice. It was then revealed that investigators in Austria had tied him to six murdered prostitutes there since his release from prison in 1990 to go along with the three in California and two in the Czech Republic. An extradition fight ensued, but Austria agreed to try him for all 11 crimes so they were granted custody. The trial began in 1994, included testimony from FBI agents based at Quantico, and he was convicted of nine murders. He was sentenced to life in a maximum security prison, but the next day he hanged himself in his cell. Many cassette tapes were found among Unterweger's belongings, the contents of which have never been revealed. If this is your birthday, I hope you have a great day. Leave me a comment so I can wish you a happy birthday. If you know somebody whose birthday it is today, send them this video so they can find out all about their birthday twin. And to Johann Unterweger, I say, happy birthday, you bastard.